spring is here and in full bloom. We've been busy planting flowers and herbs and getting our yard ready for summer. Our fosters Wade and Layla are settling in nicely. We've also been moving our giant tortoises to their new habitats. We even managed to complete a neon project for our own shop this week. We can really never get anything done in our own shop because we're always busy with our client projects. We've also been busy completely reseeding our yard. Last August, we rescued another large giant tortoise named Trey. And he ended up using our front yard as his enclosure since it was the end of the summer. We were hoping that Sheldon, our old guy, would accept him. But he was really aggressive and didn't give Trey any peace or time. We felt that it wasn't going to be a good idea to keep them together. So we let Trey stay in the yard for the remaining part of the summer, and he basically destroyed the grass. It was good for him, he loved the tasty grass, but it wasn't so good for our yard, but it's okay. So this year we're reseeding and replanting and spreading straw and hoping for some new beautiful grass. Because while we were doing this, we also built Trey his own summer enclosure. I'm also having to spruce up our planter boxes. They need a little care after the long winter. Okay, this is the day after I planted flowers in the boxes and we got a rain. So it looks really nice. It's starting to, they look like they're kind of catching on. So that's good. I decided this year that I was going to plant an herb garden. I have a pizza oven and I really love using fresh oregano and of course fresh basil. I planted several other herbs as well. I'm hoping they'll flourish and I can use them in my fresh summer cooking. It's mid-May and I 
decided I wanted to plant some tomatoes. I have high hopes of making my own marinara sauce and salsa for the summer, so let's hope that these tomato plants make it and thrive. I planted several varieties of tomatoes. I added the marigolds because I've always heard that they help keep bugs away from your tomato plants. I don't know if that's true or not. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard anything like that. So, like I mentioned, Sheldon and Trey got their brand new enclosures with really nice new turtle houses, and we worked hard to make that happen for them. We spent a lot of time working on these turtle habitats. After a winter of being in his warming box and brumating, Sheldon was ready to get out. Hi, Sheldon. I only had one problem. I wasn't sure how I was going to get him from his winter box area into his new habitat. He's so heavy now that I can't possibly carry him. We can still pick up Trey. He's not as heavy as Sheldon. Even without eating much and roommating, he still managed to gain some weight. Tortoises are easily bribed with fresh cactus fruit. Since we worked so hard on our tortoise habitat, I thought I'd give you guys a little behind the scenes look at how we actually built the tortoise houses and pulled together their habitats. Hope you enjoy it.
like a glove. Hold on. 